Hi, I'm Christy Folsom. Welcome to my book talk. Let's talk about Betty, the Helen Betty Osborne story. You may not have heard of Betty Osborne, but you should have. Her story and the story of murdered and missing Indigenous women like her has too often gone untold. But in David Alexander Robertson's beautifully stark graphic novel, Betty's story has been given a new life. In this graphic novel, we learn that Betty is an ambitious young woman living in Norway House, a remote area in northern Manitoba, Canada. Betty embarks on a great adventure, leaving her home in Norway House to further her education and become a teacher. Hey, Betty, I thought you'd be packing. We leave tomorrow, in case you forgot. I'm packed. Are you scared? Scared? No, nervous, maybe. I've been away from home before, just not away. I know. But being scared or nervous shouldn't keep us from going. We know what we want to be, right? Teachers. And that's the exact reason why we have to leave. Kids shouldn't have to leave home to go to school. When we're teachers, Eva, we'll come back here and make sure that they never have to. Tomorrow's just a long trip to get back home. Tragically, Betty was never able to complete her education or return home to Norway House. On a dark night in 1971, she was approached by four men who, when she declined their invitation to party with them, kidnapped her and eventually killed her. I would like to note here that while this book may contain content disturbing to some younger readers, it is presented very respectfully and would be appropriate to high school readers and high school classroom curriculum. Betty's murder was initially met with silence and indifference. We cannot let that be the end of her story. She represents the over 6,000 Native women in Canada and the United States who have been murdered or who have gone missing. I encourage you to pick up this graphic novel. Allow the stark, lasting images of this text to tell you who Betty was, why she was important, and what you can do to bring light to this issue. If you, like myself, are interested in victim-focused true crime or graphic novel stories that highlight an Indigenous perspective, I also recommend checking out A Girl Called Echo by Catherine Vermet, Surviving the City by Tasha Spilnet, and If I Go Missing by Brianna Johnny. Miigwech, thank you for joining me for this book talk.